Hi everyone, Michelle here from 3Ps. And I know that it has been a little bit of time. I wanna say maybe June, I think might've been the last time I uploaded a video. Um, you know, sometimes life just gets busy and the summer was pretty busy for us around here. And I just didn't get a chance to, I had so many projects that I wanted to do, even personally, not just things that I wanted to share, you know, just stuff I wanted to do around the house, and I didn't even get to those. Um, my stepdaughter was here for the summer, and I wanted to do a lot of different things with her, and it just flew by. The summer just flew by, and I just didn't get a chance to do, I don't even think a quarter of the things that I, I wanted to do. Um, I've also been working a lot. The last couple months, I've had a lot of projects at work, and... Truth be told, I've been exhausted, and I've not really just been able to catch up. And then, in addition to the busy summer and a heavier work schedule, I actually, about a month ago, I strained, you can't really tell in my hand here, but I strained this part of my thumb, uh, the palm of my hand right here. Um, so, I've got like, I think what they called it was trigger thumb, and I've got these little, little balls of, what is it, like, cartilage or scar tissue or something that's right there so when I I can't even bend my thumb right now so when you bend try to bend my thumb it doesn't it doesn't go down so it, it gets stuck and I've actually got it on both hands the right thumb is actually is is worse than the left um, I guess because I use my right a lot more often so I haven't been able to craft as much as I would like and even even just Using scissors sometimes has been a little tiny bit difficult. And so I haven't really been able to do a whole lot of crafting of any kind. Um, but I did get in here last this past week and started some Halloween, little small Halloween tags. I'm making some um, treats for my husband's office onto the cards. Um, these cards are really, really simple to make. Um, in the past, I have a couple here from last year. Uh, that was tucked away where I made the little these little cards that I I like to make sometimes in the little three and the little um, baseball card sleeves and I stick these as like a little mini happy Halloween card inside the candy packs and but this year I'm gonna just tie up the candy bags that I bought um, which I don't know where they are right now um, I'm gonna take those and I'm just gonna tie them um, to the outside of the bags and so I thought I would make some little Halloween tags this year instead and it's helping me use up a lot of, uh, I want to say, miscellaneous things that I've had over the years. So from last year's stash, I had a few boxes of some of the stickers that you get at Dollar Tree. And so I thought I could use these and inside these little boxes. I don't know if you've ever bought these, but Dollar Tree, I think it's a pack of 18 boxes for a dollar. And inside, you just get a little tiny page. Of stickers and in each box is a different set of stickers so this has got like little Frankensteins and pumpkin head a spider a little bat and a little skull thing there so I thought I could use some of these up because I had an odd amount left over I have just enough to put in the the bags for this year I bought a new pack but I have enough to put um, in their treat bags hold on let me see if it's over here give me one second Okay, so I found my Dollar Tree bag, and I dug out what I was using. So I'm using these treat bags, and I plan on, you know, tying them off. And I'm going to use these little tags on the front. So I thought they would be pretty cute on the outside of the bag to, to tie these off. Because they don't really, they don't seal up at the top. You use, um, they have in here, yeah, they have these to tie it off with. So I thought it would be cute to put a tag on the outside. So that's what I'm doing with those. And here is an example of the boxes of stickers they have this year. They had like six different packs at the Dollar Tree near me where I got these. And they're a dollar. And they're usually, if I throw them in the uh, treat bags whenever I make treats. And it's just a fun little little thing. I think most of them give them to their kids. And then this year, they had Halloween balloons. Now, I love buying these Whack-A-Pack balloons. It's four balloons, and you just smash it, and it puffs up. And I use them for birthdays. I have a, when I send out birthday things, I love putting balloons in there. I think it's just fun. And they've had them for Christmas. I think I saw them for Easter this year. Um, and they had them for Halloween. So I grabbed like six packs because uh, I'm making 24. 
And so I'm gonna add these to it as well. In the past, I've done little erasers, but I actually didn't see any erasers this year. At least not at my Dollar Tree now. I've got about six Dollar Trees around me. I only went to one, but in the past, I've used like little little erasers. These are two I had left from last year. So, but this year, I'm gonna put some balloons in there, and I think that would be a lot of fun. I think they have pencils, so if you're making them for like schools, you can put some pencils in there instead of you know them popping balloons if you want. So they have a couple different little things that you can put in there. And then at Target, they had, oh, what did I do with it? At Target, they had those little finger puppets um, that, I don't know if you remember from being a kid. Let me see if I have them in this box right here. Yeah, here we go. At Target, they had a bag of these. These were, I want to say $2, I think, and you get 12 But they had these little... <laughs> I remember these when I was a kid. And they had these little finger puppet. Oh, shoot, it's the wrong finger. My bad. <laughs> anyway, so I made these little, uh, made. I grabbed a bag of these little finger puppets. I thought these were super cute and funny. So I'm going to have to get another bag, though, because I used some of these for my nephews. I sent him a, a little birthday pack, and I put a couple little finger puppets in there. So also check out Target's birthday supply section. They had some cute little things. And I thought these monsters would be pretty funny for Halloween. So I'm going to throw those in there as well once I get the packs made. Um, so yeah, I mean, go crazy. There's there's all kinds of stickers you can buy. You can make stuff. Um, it's kind of fun, you know, being creative and figuring out how you want yours to look. And then the other thing I added to the front of the cards is you'll see there's some bigger stickers right here. And that I got from Hobby Lobby. This one, if you'll, I don't know, says 62 cents from 2.49, and I bought. They had four, and I bought four packs. I think I've already used up the other one because there's only three here. But I actually had four of these. Um, let me see. What did I do with the other one? I think it still had the main stickers on it. But there was a sticker right here that says "Happy Halloween" on it. Oh wait, there's four. There we go. So it had a big "Happy Halloween" on it right here. Um, Actually, I'll show you what it looked like. I'll be right back. Oh my goodness, I'll get it together, I promise. I'll be right back. Okay, so this is what, I actually made a couple of little signs. This one I made for my bathroom. I don't know if my camera's too far, close in, but it's like, um, you know what this is? This is the lid. I'll show you. So I wanted something lightweight just to tack up in the bathroom that was gonna be something I could throw away and it wouldn't hurt my feelings. This is actually, I cut this out from the lid of a gift box. I just trimmed off the sides from where it's already perfectly perforated and used that to measure by and I just trimmed it out so I had a perfect big square of of chipboard to decorate on. Um, so you can get three for a dollar so it ended up being six pieces of chipboard for a buck. Um, from I got them at Dollar Tree. They had a little pack of three gift boxes and actually that was like that's just sitting in my stash. I was sitting here. I wanted to put something up in the bathroom but I didn't want to spend, you know, Halloween comes and goes so fast and we don't um, have any kids here full time and my stepkids only visit during the summer. So, but I wanted to decorate just a little bit for myself. You know, I thought some fun Halloween stuff, nothing, you know, gory or scary. And so I didn't want to spend, in, you know, like $12 for some hanging art to put in the bathroom that, you know, I just didn't want to do that. So I ended up taking some of the stickers from these packs. So it had this happy Halloween right here was sitting right there in that big square there at the top and then this little fence post right here was actually right here it sat right there and then the part that says trick-or-treat sat right there in the middle so the part that says trick-or-treat so they they actually have some more Halloween packs like this at Hobby Lobby they're not they might not be on clearance but you could use these, I thought these these big stickers that come on it, like these little, like these little ghosts, there was like a, a, a row of three right here and it had a ghost, I think a ghost, a cat, it looks like a frog maybe, and there was another one right here. And so, um, for, you know, 62 cents, I'm able to use it and make some stuff. I picked these up a while ago. Uh, the Hobby Lobby here where I was at was moving stuff around and they were, they were clearancing out all kinds of stuff. I got some little Easter like containers for 20 cents these little metal containers and they're currently I've got some orange ones and I'm using them on my mantle to decorate with <laughs> for Halloween 
Um, so anyway, I made these little boards. I used up some ribbon, actually. Um, this is right here. This is part that um, candy corn is from a treat bag. You can see the, the edge right there. This is from a treat sack. I got at Walmart. It was over in the gift card section, just sitting next to the gift cards. I got this last year. I had two bags still sitting in my box from last year. So I just cut it up and made a little little sign for the bathroom. And then I made one for our fireplace on top of the mantle. It's sitting next to some other Halloween decorations. And it's just I just prop it up on the prop this up on the fireplace. Again, I used up all the happy Halloweens and the trick-or-treats and I cut open um, this is actually two bags. And where I had to slice the two bags together, I put the ribbon across that line so it wasn't nearly as obvious. Then I just used these up. And this is literally going to sit on my fireplace. And this board here was, oops, I hit the lamp, was from Hobby Lobby. It was a photo. I had this up on the mantle, this picture, just propped up on the mantle along with some, like, uh, floral decorations and stuff. And I got this picture for a buck. It was a dollar amongst all their massive clearancing and closing out that they were doing uh, near my house and I got this and some other pictures for just a dollar and so I used this on one side and then I flipped it over and I used the other side to, to decorate and I'm, this is just sitting on my fireplace I've got some other little Halloween things sitting up there all relatively cheap or from Dollar Tree so, can't go wrong with decorating from Dollar Tree. Keeps the budget pretty low. So, all right. The tags. So, we talked about the little sticker packs that you can get. I showed you the big sheet that I got from Hobby Lobby that had these little square stickers on it. So, we've covered the sticker part right here. These two little guys and the one in the middle. And the nice thing about these stickers here. Let me grab those sheets again. I don't know what I do with them. Oh, here they are. The nice thing about these, here's one with them still on it. The nice thing about these is that they're already bordered. See, it's already got the black edge on it. So you don't have to like double, you know, put it on a black piece of paper or give it a background. It's already bordered. So that's actually pretty nice about these. I actually enjoyed, or I enjoyed. I like the fact that it, it already has that. So, and... Um, the other thing that I did was I just grabbed a, grab this here, I grabbed a template that I made from some fall tags I made like two years ago. So I have this in my template, um, little, I have a little organizer, coupon organizer, I keep some little small templates in. And so I just made a little tag template and I went with this size. I, you could use any size you want, bigger, smaller, doesn't matter. And then I have a couple washi tapes. I got these in a double pack from... Hobby Lobby. No, not Hobby Lobby. Tuesday morning. That's where I got these. Got these in a double pack at Tuesday morning. It was one of those I was browsing through Tuesday morning and I saw it and I picked it up and I've been holding it in the box until Halloween. So those are a couple of little uh, Halloween themed uh, washi tapes. So I have those. And then I have this little Happy Halloween stamp that I grabbed. It was 64 cents at Hobby Lobby. So I love that store. Oh, so much fun to shop there. And our Hobby Lobby is humongous. Our Michaels is kind of small and Joann's is, it's okay, but Joann's is a little ways off for me, so I don't go there very often, but yeah. So, a little happy Halloween for 64 cents. Not too bad. All right, so, and then I took a scrap piece of paper and I just, you know, stamped out my little happy Halloweens because they are on the back of the card. You see right here? Here's the back of it. Now this, I made myself with a little stamped out uh, image here. And then what I did with that is I trim it out. I trimmed it out. You can either use a, like a ruler or a trimmer if you have it or just freehand it with some scissors. Um, however you want to get the same, um, you know, the same shape here. And then once they're trimmed out, I did use my ruler and I went along the edges here with a... Let me get my thoughts here. Okay, so if you see right here, this one is not trim, trimmed out with the orange Sharpie, and this one is. And I, I like it better trimmed out than not trimmed out. So I don't even know if it'll pick it up here on the camera, but what I did is I colored in with a colored pencil because um, I don't have – I had a tiny bit of orange cardstock, but the stamp doesn't show up as well. It's kind of hard to see. So I stamped it on the white background, and then I just used a plain colored pencil. 
These are colored pencils you can get at Target. It's the Up and Up brand. So just regular colored pencils. And then I took that and then I just colored across it, filling in the background with some colored pencil. Now you don't have to do that part, but I thought it was a little stark, a little white for me. Here's one with, that has not been colored in. This is just how it is trimmed out. And then, I don't know if you can even can tell it with it side by side in the camera, but it kind of hues it a little bit with a little bit of a background. And then this is one that's trimmed out with the orange around the edges. And I kind of like it trimmed out. So, yeah. But you could always just go with it plain if you like that too. So, and then I just took my ruler to trim that out. I just took a ruler. Pretty easy stuff here. And you just kind of line it up with the edge. And then take your um, Sharpie and just go along the edge here, coloring that in. Now I have a dark orange Sharpie. You can get the, sh I like the Sharpies. I like that they, you know, they're permanent. They don't fade or nothing like that. I've, I've got other markers, but I just don't care for them. I, I usually go back to my Sharpies quite often. And then I would just finish trimming out the rest of the edge with the orange marker. And then you got, you get these, get these little guys, okay? So I have those, okay? And then uh, on the back, I did add some little pumpkins that I have. Um, I've actually had these pumpkins, which feels like an eternity. They were, again, Hobby Lobby, and I bought several packs. I think I used some of these last year as well. But I had one little pack left in my box, and it's a 24-pack. I don't know if it shows it around on here, the numbers, but it is a 24-pack. Yeah, right there. I'm sorry, 25. 25 pieces, and I got it for $1.43 at Hobby Lobby. So I took these little pumpkins and I added them to the back of the cards here. So I put a little washi tape on the front and the back. I think there's some there. Oh, the, this orange card right here was some leftovers that I got from some poster board that I got at Dollar Tree. It came in a four pack and it had, um, where did it have? Red, green, blue, and orange. And this is leftovers. I had two different packs. This one's got the shiny stars on it and I was I pulled out um, big enough scraps that I could cut it down like I cut these down I mean they are a little bent but I don't care um, so I trimmed these out to fit on the tags here so like this and then once it's adhered I'm gonna trim that out around the edges to make the tag so I had some with um, stars like these have stars and then i also have some that are just geometric and if you can see them or harlequin i think that's what that is in the background so if you don't have this if dollar tree doesn't have this because it's been a while since i bought these like i said i'm using up scraps you can just buy orange po poster board just get some plain orange poster board because it's sturdy enough for the tag or you could use construction paper if you want um just whatever you have handy and you know can make it's pretty quick and easy so I'm going to put a couple of these together and then the background is obviously just some black paper just some plain black cardstock is what I use for the base of the tag so right here I'm going to use a couple of these sheets here or use this right here and what I'm using to adhere it with is the um, is the let me find it uh, what I do with it mm. my goodness oh here we go I've shown it in a couple of videos. It's actually these adhesive sheets. Here we go. That I like to use. I get them off. I get mine on Amazon. It's the adhesive sheets uh, from Scrapbook Adhesives. So I I like to use this, and it tackies the back of the paper. Um, you could use maybe glue, or you could just use some double-sided tape, or whatever you have handy. Maybe you got some score tape or red line tape. You know, people have different adhesives, adhesives that they prefer. So there's no right or wrong one to use, but this is the one that I like to use to turn my projects into giant stickers. So all I do is on the sheet here, I need to get a bigger filming space. Um, on the sheet here on one end, you can peel it up like this. So I'm just gonna peel this up and stick that to it. I thought I had some scraps that I could use, but I think I used them all. 
So I'm just going to take this little tag here. I'm going to press that down. And then I'm going to trim that out as soon as I find my scissors. All right. So I'm going to trim this out right here. I do have other adhesives that I like. I like using red line tape. But for these, I'm making so many, I thought it would just, <clears throat> excuse me, I thought it would be easier just to make these into giant stickers. Now, what I like to do is burnish the back right here with that paper still on it. You could use a ruler. You could use uh, some a hard surface, a bone folder, whatever you've got. And I just kind of like to press it down. I'm shaking the camera. Press it down into the back so I know that the adhesive is on there really good. And now we have a big giant sticker in the shape of a tag. I'm just going to peel this off. Throw that paper away. Okay, and now I'm going to use this here that I've cut out from this scrap paper. And it's just poster board. This is just poster board. So if you can grab a big uh, poster board sheet, an orange one for, what are they, like 60 cents? You can make a whole lot of tags from that. So I'm just going to put this down like that press it down and now I'm just gonna trim it out nothing fancy and they aren't all exact so I'm just gonna trim around the edge here like that trim that off this is really really easy tags to make no dye machines required all right. Okay, so here's our little basic tag, and then you just build from there. Real easy thing to do, just grab you some little washi tapes. Now on the star ones, I've been putting the um, candy corn washi tape, and then on the Harlequin ones, I was using that geometric um, one. So for this one, that's a little star guy. So I'm gonna put some candy corn across it. Now, if you want, you could you could put your washi tape on first and then wrap it around to the back and then lay it down. But I I didn't do that. So I just laid it across here because I wasn't sure where I wanted to put it. So on this one, I'm just gonna, you know, put it in the middle or at the top, just wherever. And then I'm just gonna use my little, I have a little um, box cutter here. You could use an X-Acto knife or however you decide you wanna do it. Tags are pretty basic. I mean, you can make them any way that you want. All right, and then that just peels off. So I'm just peel that off, okay? All right, and then I'm gonna put a sticker on there. Let's see what I've got on these sheets. Mm -hmm. I still have a little ghost guy on this one. That one's empty, let's see. Mm, yeah, that one's empty too. So I think I will go with, mm, let's see, I have a ghost guy and a tree. Mm, I think I'll go with the tree. Let's do the tree. All right. So I'm just going to lay that across here. Nothing fancy. Ooh, one last thing. I almost forgot. Punch the hole first. So you know where to put, so you don't put the sticker up too high. I almost put the sticker up too high because I forgot that part. So punch the hole first and then put the sticker on. Uh, all right. So, and then, let's see. I had a little sheet of a couple of stickers left on it. But I think I scattered it about on my desk. No, wait. Here it is. There we go. This one, I've got two little, two little stickers left on this sheet here. So I'm going to take this little pumpkin you just put it wherever and we'll put him in there on the corner and the little bat we'll just put him up here there you go voila all done a couple of stickers trimmed out pretty cute tag and now on the back I'm gonna do the same thing that I did with the the tag part on the front but first I'm gonna put some more washi tape across the back. Now on all of these on the back side, I, I did it the same. The back side, well, the direction of the Happy Halloween part stays, but the, the washi tape is at the bottom. I just put it on the bottom of all of these on the back. So I'll take this and I'll just put it across the bottom. There it goes. Alright. Oh, I keep 
keep shaking the, the camera. I'm sorry about that. All right, I'm just going to lay that across. It's going off the edge. So I'm just going to press that down. I'm going to trim this washi tape up. Right, and then you have a little tag on the back and I wanted to use up these pumpkins because I'm ready to buy new stuff my birthday's coming up and Christmas is coming and my sister likes to give me gift cards to like Michael's and Hobby Lobby so I wanted to make sure I'd used up all the old stuff I have laying around <laughs> before I pack because my craft room is pretty tiny I have a very tiny space so I have I have limited places to put a bunch of stuff so it's kind of a one in one out and I won't buy myself new stuff until I get rid of enough old stuff so Unless it's washi tapes. I have I have this weird obsession, like a lot of people, with washi tapes. Especially at Dollar Tree. When I see them at Dollar Tree, I grab them right away because they go so fast. And I have tons of washi tapes that will last me a while. So, anyway. Like I grabbed, I'll show you real fast. I grabbed these and I didn't realize these were actually little duct tapes <laughs> that I got from uh, Hobby Lobby. And I want to say they were like a quarter. These were like 24 cents in their little clearance bins. And... It's just so cute. It's got little dogs and cats. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. It could probably sit in my stash for an eternity. But it's actually, it's duck brand duct tape. So I could probably use it to seal up packages and stuff. Or help seal up packages. So it's like a little, it's like a little duct tape here. So, yeah. I can use this to seal up some packages, perhaps. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. It's just going to sit here on my craft space <laughs> forever. I'm sure I'll figure out something to use it with. But they were so cute and 24 cents come on. You can't walk away from that, right? Okay. So this is the finished card here. Our tag. And just a little pumpkin. It says Happy Halloween. A little scene on the front. And I can string these up and attach them to the gift bags that I got. For when I make up my little Halloween treat. So I hope you enjoyed today's video share kind of chit chatty uh, video here. And maybe you can make you some cute little Halloween tags for some treats for Halloween. Thank you so much everyone for stopping by and listening to me ramble on. Y'all have a really great day now. Bye-bye. <laughs>